Keith, there's a lot going on here at the OPW booth, but can you just highlight some of the new products you're exhibiting? Certainly. There's two things that we're featuring here at the show today. And first, as part of our underground business, we're featuring a rigid entry fitting, uh, which is part of our Flexworks offering. And what this product does is it eliminates the need for a rubber boot and uh, is completely uh, self-contained in a hard fitting which addresses some of, the, some of the key concerns that some customers have had uh, with regards to flexible pipe. And secondly, we're featuring a, a recent announcement. We've got a, a relationship with FuelQuest. And so what they're doing is, um, you know, they have a fuel management product, which helps people, you know, better uh, control and manage their uh, fuel logistics as well as their supply chain. Can you give me an update on the TVS system which was launched at Auto Mechanica last year? So do you have any installations in place already? Of course, thanks for asking Sandra. Yes, we're very excited to announce that um, you know, since the announcement at Auto Mechanica we've installed over 50 systems and we have a significant backlog of new orders as well. And all these systems are installed over multiple countries across the entire continent of Europe. So thanks for asking. Yes, we're very excited. At the last next PI, PDQ was exhibiting their laser wash machine. Today is all about friction car wash. So what's exactly the difference? Well, um, traditionally we do show the laser wash product and that's our touch-free high pressure car wash. Uh, this year we thought we'd change it up a little bit and go with our, our friction machine, the tandem wash. Um, what's unique about our wash here is uh, it's a two brush machine versus a, a typical traditional five brush machine. Um, the principle behind that is that less friction on the machine, um, lower impact on, on, the, in, on the customer in the vehicle, which is just an overall better wash experience. Um, we also have high pressure side cleaners on the machine and as you can see uh, over the counter there are wheel scrubbers to get the, uh, the wheels and the tires clean so the, the complete vehicle uh, is cleaned by, by the two brushes and the tire brush. Sloan is one of the leading companies when it comes to LED lighting for petrol stations. So Jill, can you tell me what new products you're showing here at the exhibition? Well, we're really excited to be launching our Progressive Canopy Downlight product at the show. This is specifically for the canopies at the, outs at the petrol station and it allows light to evenly radiate around the areas and keeps it safe even when the areas might be dark. So it's, uh, it's, we're really very excited to be announcing it at this show. So the benefit really also for a customer would be to feel more secure at a petrol station, is that right? It is, as well as provide clean, focused light. It's also very easy to install. It only takes one-man installation due to our uh, swing and, and uh, hang uh, system that we've put together. What other products does Slow and offer to petrol stations? Well, in addition to our Canopy Downlight product, we actually have been supplying border tubing products for many years now to the petrol stations, in addition to our refrigeration lighting. And our refrigeration lighting actually replaces fluorescent tubing. It's more efficient and similar to our Progressive Series Downlight. It actually disperses the light where it's needed, bringing sparkle and shine to the product and being very energy efficient. Ignacio, what kind of innovations is technology is showing today? Well, uh, for this year we are showcasing a petroscope camera. We, during this year we came up with a new system, it's called the version 7 camera, that has uh, newer and better enhancements from our previous systems. So this one has much better zooming capabilities. Petroscope is a system that we use to go inside the tanks to check them for corrosion, to check them for integrity. So we go inside the tanks, we do not put a man inside the tank, and with this we check all, all, all the inside of the tank, we provide a DVD, we provide a report, and then with this the customer can make good decisions about if keeping the tanks under operation or if they have to do any type of maintenance on them. So that was the idea, you know, getting here, the latest, the latest version out here in the market for everybody to see. And where are your products marketed apart from the US? Of course, as you say, United States is our main market, but then overseas technology operates with licensees. We sell a license to operate with our products. So Australia is doing a lot of inspections with our petroscope system. The United Kingdom also, they use it quite a bit for all the companies there. And recently, 
Turkey, our newest licensee, Interpret from Turkey, they added the system, they just completed their training, just during this week training was completed, and they're going to begin their inspections for the local oil companies there. Of course, we're looking into other markets that have the need, you know, to make good assessments of the tanks, so we, we are open to discussion with other companies who are interested in getting the system into their market, and we assist them, we train them, we get them all geared up, we transfer all our know-how, all our know-how, and we get them fully, fully ready to offer the same services that we offer in the United States and in our established countries. Horn Ticker Limit is originally a German company uh, with a hundred years tradition. Uh, you have recently established a U.S. corporation in Houston, Texas. Can you tell me a bit about that? Sure. Uh, Tecalamet has been producing uh, garage equipment, lubrication equipment, tire inflation, uh, fuel dispensing and fluid management since 1910. And uh, this past June we set up a U.S. corporation uh, based in Houston, Texas. We also have a warehouse operation there. And uh, the intent is to bring German technology into the North American market. So our initial focus is going to be the U.S. and then Canada and then Mexico. And our focus is uh, DEF equipment, that's uh, equipment for dispensing uh, diesel fluid, uh, diesel emission fluid, uh, tire inflation equipment that has a very unique uh, feature, it compensates for temperature. And we have uh, some very advanced technology for uh, managing uh, uh, tank levels. So those are the products that uh, we're going to be uh, introducing into the U.S along with a full complement of garage equipment, which is very well known in Europe, uh, but not so well known here. We're here at the Wright Express Telepoint booth and we found a quite innovative new solution for bulk fuel supply for petrol retailers in the US. What is this all about? We at Wright Express and Telepoint have noticed an increasing challenge for independent retailers to buy bulk fuel at competitive prices and compete with the larger chains. The concept is, is to aggregate as, as an, an association or group independent retailers and offer them terms that, they, that are suitable for them and negotiate with suppliers, large suppliers, for better pricing so that the independents can compete. This is the first time that Wayne is presenting itself as part of GE. So apart from the new brand, what else is new? Well, as you mentioned, aside from being part of GE now, Wayne is presenting three new products that are available to our customers worldwide. One of them is our Fusion Four Court Control System. The other is our ATG product. And then the third product is really more for North American audiences. That's our Innovation TV product, which is basically media at the pump. I'm now here at the ZCL booth. ZCL is actually the market leader in underground storage tanks in North America. Rod, what makes your product so successful? Well, we've been in business for a significant period of time uh, in the ZCL brand of our business uh, in excess of 25 years and the Xerces brand of our business 30 years. In the ZCL brand of our business, we would have roughly 90% of the market share in Canada for fiberglass reinforced plastic underground storage tanks. In our Xerces brand in the United States, we have captured roughly 40%. What really makes us different is the fact that we have a very strong in-house engineering capability. We have regional production facilities such that we can facilitate our national accounts and provide very competitive freight uh, advantage for that. We have very high quality standards within our plants. Uh, we have a very uh, long serving uh, production managers and so they've, they've kind of grown with us through time. And then we have after sales service as well. We don't back away from our product offering. We offer a very comprehensive insurance plan and then a 30 year warranty in behind it. So I, I characterize that as why we are truly a market leader. In And are there any innovations that you're presenting here today? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. I was going to ask Tom Tejan, our Vice President of Sales and Marketing uh, for our Xerces brand, to talk a little bit about our diesel exhaust fluid introduction. Tom? Hi. DEF uh, is a product that's relatively new to North America. It's been uh, in the European market for some number of years. And new engine technology here in North America requires the use of DEF, or diesel exhaust fluid. 
and uh, within Zetzel Xerxes, we designed a product specifically for the unique requirements of DEF, and in about a nine-month period of time, took it from uh, inception to market. It was actually last year at this particular show that we introduced the, uh, the DEF product line. And it's been very successful in the course of the last 12, uh, 12 months. And fiberglass offers some very unique advantages when it comes to DEF storage. Uh, more and more customers are choosing to go to bulk storage. In other words, larger capacities. Underground storage is the, the best option for large capacity. And also because of some of the unique aspects of DEF. It has to be within a very uh, specific temperature range uh, and, and the, the contents uh, that it comes in contact with all have to be very closely monitored. And so uh, fiberglass has been a, a perfect uh, solution for customers' DEF uh, capacity storage. Last week we have interviewed Henry Armour, the president of Next. This week we are with Bob Rank, as president of PEI. So, how has the show been so far? Well, we've been really happy with our show. We've got uh, increased attendance by about 3%. Exhibits are up about 4%, so Chicago's done real well for PEI members. And what are the main issues that PEI members are dealing with at the moment? We're talking a lot about regulations in the United States that increased amount of ethanol. Um, some ultra-low sulfur diesel issues that our industry has experienced, uh, getting rid of stage 2 vapor recovery, which is coming on in Europe right now, and some other management issues to help our members just be better business people. Next year we'll be going to Las Vegas, so when will the next PEI be next year? Uh, October 7 to 10, Las Vegas, 2012. It's our best venue. Uh, we get more attendees, particularly internationals, from outside the United States. and. Uh, so we look for an increased attendance over this good one uh, and uh, increased uh, exhibit uh, booth buys. We look forward to seeing you next year then. Thank you very much. Now we want to have a real Chicago feeling. Can you give me a short medley? We Come on. Baby, don't you want to go? Come on. Yeah. Baby, don't you want to go? Back to that same old place, sweet home Chicago. Chicago.